So how do you start a blog on system? If you're not familiar with it, it's system with an E at the end dot IO. Some people call it system dot IO, system IO. We're going to call it system. And in this video, I want to cover how you can use it as a blog. So I'm an old school blogger. My name is Jonathan Milligan, and I'm the founder of Market Your Message and bloggingyourpassion.com. And I'm also the author of the book, Your Message Matters. I started a blog way back in 2009. So I have blogged on all kinds of platforms, WordPress, Kajabi, and now we have this player system with an e.io, and it's free to get started. That's right. You can have a free website, a free blog. You can have up to 2,000 email contacts, I believe three funnels, a digital course that you sell, all on their free plan. And so if that excites you, there's other videos on this channel that will show you a more fuller overview. And I have a full playlist that you can click on and go dive deep into a system. But if you want to grab a free account, there's a link in the description below. So in this video, I'm going to focus primarily on the blog section. So I'm going to jump into one of my accounts. And the first thing you're going to see at the top is it says blog. Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. Once we get too big, it goes away, tucks away, but you can see blog. Now, if there's one criticism that I do have, even though I'm a huge fan of system, it is that I think they should rename this website. Website and blog are a little bit different for me. Blog is the blog where you're adding regular blog posts and the website is the home page, the contact page, the about page, things like that. They use both terminologies in one. So when you go to create a blog, just know that you're creating a website and a blog. So for example, I've created one here. <clears throat> And if we were to click on this, you'll see that there's post, there's pages, and there's categories. Now the pages, I want you to think this is where you're gonna find the homepage. So you can edit the homepage, you can make the homepage look however you want. You've got an about page, some category pages, a contact page. And if you wanna create more website pages, you click on this. Even though it says create a blog page, just know, you're creating a website page is what you're creating. Now this is separate from funnels, which is an entirely different video. You can go watch on my channel on how to set up funnels, even so they're better or just as comparable to click funnels, which is really awesome. So this is where you would create a new page. Now you can click on blog layout. Now, if you click on blog layout, this is your main blog page. So your blog content is going to show up here. So just know that this is where the blog content is going to show up, but you can change elements like your logo at the top here, your navigation page. If you want a call to action or a build your email list, you want to do some quick links, things down here at the bottom. That is what that's for. Okay, so let's jump back over here. Now, if you want to dive into post, your actual blog post, let's say I want to start blogging, then that's where you're going to come here to post. So you can come over here to create a blog post. You can click on this to elevate or edit the common elements that are displayed in post only. All right. And so let's jump into one of these. So this is a test. We're going to just jump into one of these. And you can see it's very familiar. It's a page builder. So this is where you're going to blog. Now, I would recommend blogging in something else. You can blog in Notion and Evernote and Google Docs. But once you're done, come over here and you can copy and paste your blog post into here. Now, let's say, what if I want to add an image? You can do that. So we can find image. And let's say we want to put a cool image up here at the top. We've got our image now. We can click on this. Let's add an image file. I'm just going to go see if I got an image here. Let's go with this. And you can also, by clicking on this, which I really love, is you can adjust the size. See, I want the size to be like this. All right. And let's say, man, that's a little bit too close to the image here. How do I fix that? Well, they got you covered. You can find the spacing of your letters. That's not what we want. We want line height. We can create line height, font size, and I believe the margin here is where it is. 
So I can go here to the margin and make it a little bit better there. So this is where I would put my blog post. Obviously, this is the title, which you can't edit on this page because you're editing that on the other. You can also, you've got your newsletter over here if you want a call to action. And at the bottom, all of these, you can see, you can adjust, you can edit along the way. So it's very simple. And, but there's a couple other things that I think are important. We got elements here. So you can add specific things that you want to a blog post. So if I wanted to add a bulleted list, if I wanted a content box to go right here at the bottom down here, boom, I can create a call out box. I can change the colors, the font. I can change whatever I want to go in here. I can have four columns, three columns, two columns. I can add a table of contents. I can add in forms. I can add in video, audio, social elements, horizontal lines, everything in here. Over here on blocks, you can, you can go through these blocks as well. I won't go too much into that. And then settings. And as we come in here to settings, there's a section for pop-ups. If you want to do pop-ups on your page, settings, this is where you're going to find the SEO. So this is the part that, that old school bloggers like me are always looking for. So I want to have the SEO and I know this is small on your screen here. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see this and it looks like I'm making it worse, <laughs> but this says SEO optimization, and this is your title. So this is your title of your blog post. This is your meta title, your meta description. This is where you want to put in your keywords. This is where you want to plug in your author name. And this is where you want to have a social image. So we want to make sure we add an image here. So this is the image that shows up when it gets shared. Now this is hide from search engines. I would definitely uncheck that if it's checked. And then down at the very bottom is some tracking code. But just know for those of you who are sensitive or want to optimize for SEO, which I believe you should, that's where you're going to find it. You're going to find it under settings and you're going to find it under the SEO section where you want to put out your title, your description, and so on and so forth. And so that is the basics of starting your blog. You can hit this right here and take a look at what it looks like. Now, let's just go back here to where all of our blog posts are. And I wanna show a few other things. You can view what it looks like. You can come here to settings. You can, this is where you would actually publish it. You can go back into editing. So if we click on settings, you see here it's very simple. Do you wanna put in your category? This is a, honestly, this is another place where you could do the SEO portion. If you want to change this to your keyword for SEO purposes, this is another place where you could do that. If we click on publish, we can activate and publish our blog post and we can do that there. We can duplicate. Why would you want to duplicate? You might want to use this duplication feature if you have a certain layout that you like and you want to use that over and over again. You've also got these blog settings here. This is more for your entire blog than it is for individual blogs. And you can view your blog. So if we click on this, we can see, obviously we don't have anything published here, but if I came over here and publish this, you can see now it shows as active. And technically, if I click on a view, you can see here, it's just a test, but this is showing an example here. So everything that you need is right here to get you started and get you going. Yeah, so this is where you'd come in here, create a new post or duplicate an existing post and do your next post and keep putting more blog posts out there. So there you go. There's a high level overview of system and how to get started with a blog. And again, what's great about this is it's free. You can act, you can actually buy a domain name, connect your domain name to system and start blogging all for free, free hosting. 
You don't even have to pay for hosting. It's a hosting platform. It gives you the free plan, gives you up to 2,000 email contacts, three funnels, one digital course, as many blog posts, I believe, as you want to publish, and more. If you're interested in that, click on the link down in the description below and go sign up for your free account. And if you decide to upgrade, there are cheaper, affordable options. I believe it goes up to $27 for unlimited. Everything is 97 a month, but for most people, the free account, it's a great place to start. Hope this video was helpful. If you like this type of content, hit, give us a comment below. And also if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification. So you're notified anytime we release a new tutorial video. And until next time, never forget, your message matters.